another team looking. This team is not looking to move back. They are looking to trade, but they are looking to move up. So we were going to talk about this last week. Um, this was uh, according to Kevin O'Connor, favorite blog boy, the ringer. Um, yep. It was basically ahead of the NBA draft, Orlando Magic are reportedly attempting to trade up into the mid-lottery range. That was from Kevin O'Connor last week. Today, Dave, there are trade rumors that not only are the Magic looking to move up, they're looking to move up by trading Aaron Gordon and the 15th pick. They want to package both together to move up into like the mid-lottery range my question for you, Dave, is before we get to who they may target, does any team above or in the lottery where the Magic are, does any team want an Aaron Gordon and moving back in the draft? Like, is do you see a trade partner for the Magic? Warriors, yes. Hornets, yes. Bulls, yes. Cavs, yes. Hawks, yes. Pistons, yes. Knicks, yes. Knicks, of course, yes. Could have just said everyone if you're going to say yes, Dave. (laughs) Wizards, yes. Suns, yes. Could have just said everyone. All right. Spurs, yes. Who are the Magic trading up for? If you're the Magic, who are you trying to get that you don't think will be there at 15? That is... The million-dollar question? (laughs) Kyrie Halliburton. Okay. Okay. In my mind, you need a point when card. I look at the board, if you're saying a middle lottery pick, mm-hmm. they must, A, two things, by hearing Aaron Gordon's name included, they must really love Chumo KK. Yep. Uh, last year's first round pick, signing with them officially this year as mm-hmm. a first round pick uh, to retain his rights. And because we saw the injury that happened to mm-hmm. uh, Jonathan Isaac, which was just, I feel fucking horrible for the kid. Mm-hmm. Like it, it hurts me that he is just unlucky because he's he's got superstar talent. Mm-hmm. He's got all world defense to him. Yeah. And his offensive game's starting to come along. So like if he's not there and they're looking to move on from Aaron Gordon, it makes me think wing. Mm-hmm. So I would go like if you're putting Chuma out there, would you go after I don't want to say Obi Toppin, but like there there is a little thought of Obi Toppin, but again, Jonathan Isaac is technically a four. Mm-hmm. Chuma plays the four as well. You can Isaac can play the three though because he's incredible at everything and he's got a mile long arms. Yeah, but like if he's not here for the season, do you even care? Mm-hmm. No, I, I still take your BPA. Mm-hmm. You still target the guy who you think is a long term fit, and I think that to me goes Tyrese Hall Tyrese Halliburton because mm-hmm. he's again he's that one through three kind of guy. He can yeah. go point guard he can run an offense he can play off ball his catch and shoot numbers aren't great uh obviously he has to work on that motion um but he is someone who would be a amazingly complimentary piece i don't know that he's got superstar written on him but i don't think that he's mm-hmm. a low you know floor kind of guy either yeah so as low as that i mean as high as I, anthony edwards would be a great hit if mm-hmm. they could land an anthony edwards on that team that's a game changer, man. That's yeah. a fucking game changer. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if they're in the ballpark for an Anthony Edwards. Only because like even when we talked about Edwards yesterday being at the Bulls, everybody and of course like the YouTube comment section draft experts like ourselves. Um right. that Edwards ain't gonna be there at four. So we don't even have to talk about him being anywhere below that because like anything can happen, right? Like Laramie Tunsil wasn't going to drop in the NFL draft, right, Dave? Right, Dave? Gas mask wasn't going to drop for no reason. Uh, (laughs) But I mean, to me, there's one other like Halliburton makes sense because the three things that if like that could help the magic with deficiencies, ball handler, shooting, and then rim protecting. You're not going to get a rim protector unless you're like trading up with like a Neko Kongwu falls. If a James Wiseman falls, um, you're not going to get that rim protector in the middle of the lottery. To what me, happened it, to Mo Bamba? What happened Mo, to Mo Bamba? Mo Bamba? It's only been one Mo year. Bamba's song is better than Mo Bamba. <laughs> I mean, hey, he, he was a project. It's up on three years, Ricky. He was a project. We knew it was going to be a project. Maybe it's Orlando. Maybe he just needs a change. It's your scenery, Dave. Who knows? Um, but, like, the one thing that's clear to me is Fultz is not the future 
long term with the magic in my mind. I think that I'm gonna flip the yeah, fucking no, table he's on not. you. Um, I am so unhappy with you right now because to me, what he did in the bubble. Okay, look it's at, the bubble. Look at me. Look it's at me. Look the at bubble. Camera. Look at me. What I'm looking at you, Dave, like literally looking in your eyes. Okay. <laughs> what he was able to do in the bubble. Yeah, it's the bubble. What he was able to do leading up to the bubble. He's gotten better mm-hmm. every single month. I just, he to me, play. Hallibur, Halliburton would be one that I go for. The cell could also be one that I go for because yeah, sure, sure. if you're like Halliburton, it's the thing of he can ball handle. His shot's not bad. He's got good defense, high IQ player. The cell, though, he's got defense. You know the shot is there. You're talking wings, well, Dave. His jump shot looks ugly as shit in the offseason, but I know it goes no, in, so I don't there care. Was, there was a report that apparently there was a, there video, was a video circling. There was and, a video circling. It did not look pretty. Yeah, and he, he came out and was like, dude, that was a joke. I was fucking around with people. Um, sure. So, sure, I mean, sure. it could have been that. Um, I mean, what? He could have been just like, I just thought of like, oh, man, we're going to do some crazy shit. One person takes a video that fucking uh, spreads like wildfire. <clears throat> Killian Hayes is one, though, that he would be like the third. The only reason why I'm like, and eh, Killian Hayes is his offensive. He would be a primary creator until mm-hmm. his shot develops. Like he's the one where a shot needs to develop. And it's for the Orlando Magic. How much are you putting on it? Whoever I'm drafting in this draft class, they need to shoot. I need shooting. They need to be able to shoot. And not one of those things where you mentioned Mo Bamba. I know different position than Killian Hayes, but it's like, yep. hey, we've we've got a shot that we're developing. I don't want to go through that again. I don't know. I just, I, I think Killian Hayes has a better shot than people want to give him credit for. Mm-hmm. I think it's just tiny sample size of people overreacting. Yeah. I mean, he went on like an eight game streak where he was shooting like, you know, 50% from three. Like it's just, yeah. it, it, it is what it is. And you can't take those tiny scales of numbers mm-hmm. and say, he's a God awful shooter. He doesn't have the oh, strength I'm, to shoot from three. No, I'm not saying he's got awful, but like his shot is not anywhere near a final product is what I'm saying. Like there would I need to be development there. People have mocked him as D'Angelo Russell esque. Okay. Because he's a lefty who is a crafty passer, mm-hmm. who is a good shooter. And I, I think all three of those things are true. Mm-hmm. Um, I still haven't given up on Mark Fultz. That one's a personal pet project. Yeah, I know. I know the you guy like had good shooting splits in the bubble. Uh, he had good shooting splits in the playoffs, also in the bubble. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think they need to go for another point guard here, but uh at the same time, like they need a shooting guard. They just need someone mm-hmm. who can play the two. And at the top, it's Anthony Edwards, and then how far do you fall? So that yeah. number two shooting guard. Well, that's why I take what, the combo. A cell? What, a or, cell no, I'm be, sorry, Halliburton and then a Vassell. Well, because I forgot Vassell. Technically a point guard. Yeah, I mean combo guard. guard. Technically a point guard. Yeah, but, well, it's I mean, like I count them one through three though. Yeah, it's like RJ, where it's like technically RJ people Hansen, think he's a shooting guy. guard, but RJ like you Hansen's mentioned yesterday, could be a point guard. Honestly. I think RJ Hampton could be point guard. Like, yeah. that's exactly like. And that even can Why not just take RJ Hampton? Magic? No. <laughs> that's why what not I was just thinking. Take RJ Hampton? He's uber athletic. Uh, he, he can be aggressive with the ball in his hands. He can, he can attack the rim, mm-hmm. do all the right things. I don't know. I just hope they don't take like Isaac Okoro. Like, that's mm-hmm. my concern is like they're going to do it something does dumb not here. does not help them at all. Like, the defense Aaron they need is around the rim, and that's not Isaac Okoro. Yeah. Aaron Neesmith has been falling. He would be available where they're at mm-hmm. now, likely. Yeah. Great fit. Hey, it's someone who comes come in and knock down shots for you, help space out that offense, mm-hmm. because we all know Fournier, where we're like at the end of that rope. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if they if they do if they want to snake up to get a Nyeka Kungwu and mm-hmm. think they're gonna play the dumbest lineup ever of like <laughs> Jonathan Isaac at the three. Uh, I'm sorry, Jonathan Isaac at the two. Yeah. Chumo KK at the three. Nyeka Kungwu at the four. And Vusimang at the five, mm-hmm. like tall boy heaven there, I guess. <laughs> but like, why? Like, they just verticality. Unless Vucevic is not in the long term plans. Hey, hey, there's we've been rumors heard a lot for him of rumors. too. See, yeah. see, we've heard a I lot mean, of rumors hey, out there. Maybe, maybe the straight up dreams are alive, Dave. 
Oh God! Maybe no, the don't straight do that. up you dreams are alive. Draymond now. back on. Draymond coming to the Orlando Magic, baby. It's funny how quickly that's flipped. <laughs> yeah. Before it was Draymond was too valuable. <laughs> now it's Vucevic is too good. Yeah. Like you can't. Like he's just he's very good at basketball. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if he's on the move and they want to have Anyaka as the new five, I totally mm-hmm. respect it, and that would work perfectly fine with me. I have no problem with them going with Anyaka. I have no problem mm-hmm. going Halliburton. I don't want a Coro. Hayes would be great. Neesmith would be great. Vassell would be great. Like, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. There's not misses. You know what would be interesting? What? Orlando Magic trading up when they want to take Pokusevsky. He'd just be, in my mind, he would be their it's, fifth. He would be oh, their he might pick. Be. Yeah. Like, but, it, but it's one of those moves. It's just like, it's a Kang's move. It is. It's a Papa, Papa yeah. John's move. Papa it's, it's one of those ones that just goes. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, what, what did they what did know you that just we do? don't? Yeah. Because remember, they're all about the long boy down there. Mm-hmm. So who's got the longest wingspan in this draft right now? I don't actually know. Yeah. Um, but the top of the draft, Wiseman, obviously. Mm-hmm. And then that, An- Anyaka. But like... And- Anyaka's probably up there. Denny would be great. For- Could you imagine Denny? It's just like another version of Jonathan Isaac. They don't need yeah, it. I- they could just have it. I, I seriously want them to go get mm-hmm. Anthony Edwards. He's the dream pick. If you can't get Anthony Edwards, I don't know you trade up in this class. Mm-hmm. The cell would be a minor trade up. I don't think Gordon would be moving for going from pick 15 to pick mm-hmm. 10 or something like that. Yeah. The, so. the two guys, unless it's like they're okay. Three guys. I could see them trading up for first one's a faller. If on falling and they're like, we want a rim protector we because before nine though, because we already hit the wizards. Exactly. Made so like, promise. You would have to move up above nine, so we'll see how that would go. That's number one if he falls. Number well, two, the take another power forward. No, it, if they had to pick between an, on Yaka and Obi, they're taking Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin's a pick for the Knicks if he's uh, no, if I'm the point guard. Aaron there. Gordon. Oh, Aaron Gordon. Yeah, maybe. Um, but it's who we talked about: Halliburton and Vassell. Where yeah. it's just that's who I'm training up for, and like. The thing with Fultz, Dave, and I had to look into it because I knew it was something with his contract. Um, After this year, he's got a qualifying offer, but then after that, he's an RFA. And one of the things I would think about is, is there a possibility that the Magic could be in a situation if Fultz plays well this year, plays well the next year, if they because they're going to offer him a qualifying offer before he hits the RFA, is there a possibility that after next season or the year after that a team like the Kings that they did it to us? I'm not saying the Kings exactly, but like for Bulls fans, when the Zach Levine hit the market, team. boom, here you go. Here's your contract. And then the magic are in a decision of like, Ooh, do we know yet if we want to pay him this much or not pay him this much, depending on how much said team offers him. If they get like a Halliburton, that could be setting them up for, well, if we do by chance lose Fultz in a free agency because the team offered him more than we thought he's worth based on how he's played this year and maybe the year after, it sets them up to where they're not just losing a point guard. Who else are they going to pay? They're paying one player right now in Vucevic. They're going to have to pay Jonathan Isaac, but he's been hurt for literally his entire career, so... I don't know that he is going to get a large sum. It'll probably be a very healthy one, but it's not a max. So that leaves all of their money Let's see. available. And, got... and no offense to Orlando, they're not a sexy spot. The Heat mm-hmm. are the hot team in Florida. You know? yeah. uh, he, so like uh... that's my thing. Is like I think they can afford to take swings on retaining talent because mm-hmm. – I don't see them as a massive free agent destination. Mm-hmm. You know, I know none of these guys are game changers today, but who knows in a couple of years what they could be. And the whole problem has been the heat. I'm sorry, the magic let talent walk. And then the talent is better. Mm-hmm. Look what's happened. DeMontis Sabonis. Stud. JJ Redick. Stud. JJ Redick. Stud. Mm-hmm. Uh, Serge Ibaka. Honestly, it was a stud before, but he's a stud again. <laughs> like, you look at that roster, you're like, mm-hmm. God damn, everybody they fucking, like, 
I mean, you could date it all the way. I know it's Shaq. Had issues. I know Shaq was good, Dave. But you could always say Shaq won his titles in L.A. after he left Orlando, Dave. If they would have paid him, they would have been champions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's mm-hmm. I I understand, and I will I will give credit at it before the fans attack. It's the mm-hmm. yes, I totally get that. This is a team that has adjusted the front office, the yep. player development staff. Everything has changed over in the last five years. Mm-hmm. So it's not like. I don't think there's like one spot where you can point at and be like, oh, well, they're going to fail because of this. But like they literally have money and I think they just have to take swings at players. You know, Mm -hmm. Westside Windu is like a fun project player they've got on their team right now. Yeah. um, Who they've been working with for a while now. I would love to see them take some more stabs like that. I think Josh Jackson, someone Mm -hmm. who a lot of teams should make offers on Mm -hmm. is dumb as he is off the court. He is an athlete. He is naturally Mm -hmm. gifted. And if he gets his head out of his ass, mm-hmm. he can be a very good basketball player. Like they need to take those kind of swings on players because they're not a hot market right now yeah. for free agents. So I think that yes, Halliburton would be a safe backup plan. If you think either Fultz isn't going to pan out or you think that Fultz will pan out too well and you mm-hmm. don't want to pay him. But like in my mind, I'm like, you just, whatever it is, you got to pay the man to keep him there. Yeah. Good point. 